This multivitamin and iron product is used to treat or prevent vitamin deficiency due to poor diet, certain illnesses, or during pregnancy. Vitamins and iron are important building blocks of the body and help keep you in good health. It is important to take this medication as directed by your doctor. The recommended daily dosage is one capsule. It is best to take this medication with food to help prevent stomach upset. It is important to take this medication at the same time each day to help you remember. When taking this medication, it is best to take it by mouth, usually once daily or as directed by your doctor. It's important to follow all the directions on the product package and not take more than the recommended dosage. If you have any questions, it's best to ask your doctor or pharmacist for clarification. For the best results, it is recommended to take this medication on an empty stomach, one hour before or two hours after meals, with a full glass of water, 8 ounces or 240 milliliters, unless your doctor directs you otherwise. If stomach upset occurs, you may take this medication with food. It's important to avoid taking antacids, dairy products, tea, or coffee within two hours before or after taking this medication because they may decrease its effectiveness. Also, it's best not to lie down for at least 10 minutes after taking the tablets or capsules. It's important to consult your doctor or pharmacist for details specific to your particular brand. If you are taking the delayed release form or extended release capsules, it's important to swallow them whole and not crush or chew them. Doing so can release all of the drug at once, increasing the risk of side effects and decreasing absorption. Also, it's important not to split extended release tablets unless they have a score line and your doctor or pharmacist tells you to do so. Swallow the whole or split tablet without crushing or chewing. To get the most benefit from this medication, it's important to take it regularly at the same time each day. Some common side effects of multivitamin iron 1.25 mg methyl tetrahydrofolate 100 mg fee capsule may include constipation, diarrhea, or upset stomach. These effects are usually temporary and may disappear as your body adjusts to the medication. If any of these effects last or get worse, it's important to contact your doctor or pharmacist promptly. The iron in this medication may cause your stools to turn black, but this is not harmful. If your doctor has prescribed this medication for you, it's because they have determined that the benefits outweigh the potential side effects. Many people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. While it's rare, a very serious allergic reaction to this medication can occur. Seek medical help immediately if you notice symptoms such as rash, itching slash swelling, especially of the face slash tongue slash throat, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so if you notice any other effects not listed here, be sure to contact your doctor or pharmacist. If you're in the US, you can call your doctor for medical advice about side effects or report them to the FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or at www.fda.gov medwatch. In Canada, you can call your doctor for medical advice about side effects or report them to Health Canada at 1-866-234-2345. Accidental overdose of products containing iron can be very dangerous, especially for young children. It's important to keep this product out of their reach at all times. If an overdose does occur, seek medical help immediately or contact a poison control center. Before taking this product, it's important to talk to your doctor or pharmacist about any allergies you may have to its ingredients. Some brands may contain soy, which could cause allergic reactions. It's also important to discuss your medical history, especially if you have iron overload disorder, liver problems, or stomach-slash-intestinal problems. If your multivitamin also contains folic acid, make sure to inform your doctor if you have vitamin B12 deficiency before taking it, as folic acid may affect certain lab tests for vitamin B12 deficiency without treating the anemia. It's also important to inform your doctor if you are pregnant or breastfeeding before using this medication. And as always, before having surgery, make sure to inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you are using, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. Drug interactions can change how your medications work or increase your risk for serious side effects. It's important to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. 
This product can decrease the absorption of other drugs such as bisphosphonates, levodopa, penicillamine, quinolone antibiotics, thyroid medications, and tetracycline antibiotics. It's recommended to separate your doses of these medications as far as possible from your doses of this product. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about how long you should wait between doses and for help finding a dosing schedule that will work with all your medications. If your multivitamin also contains folic acid, be sure to tell your doctor or pharmacist if you take certain anti-seizure drugs. This medication may interfere with certain lab tests, potentially causing false test results. Make sure lab personnel and all your doctors know you use this drug. If someone has taken too much of this medication and is experiencing severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical help. In the U.S., you can call your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. In Canada, you can call a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of an overdose may include stomach pain, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. If your doctor has prescribed this medication, it's important to follow their instructions and not share it with others. It's also important to keep all medical and lab appointments. Some brands of this medication may also contain ingredients such as docusate. If you have questions about the specific ingredients in your brand, it's best to ask your doctor or pharmacist. It's important to remember that this product is not a substitute for a proper diet. It's best to get your vitamins and minerals from healthy foods and maintain a well-balanced diet. Be sure to follow any dietary guidelines as directed by your doctor. If you are taking this medication on a prescribed schedule and happen to miss a dose, take it as soon as you remember. However, if it is close to the time of your next dose, it is better to skip the missed dose and take the next one at the regular time. Avoid doubling the dose to make up for the missed one. It is important to store this medication at room temperature, away from light and moisture, and not in the bathroom. Keep it out of reach of children and pets. Do not flush this medication down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed to do so. When it is expired or no longer needed, be sure to properly discard this product by consulting your pharmacist or local waste disposal company. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the U.S., you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.